Hi, I'm Dave Mockholtz, an instructor with the Toyota T10 program at Suffolk County Community College on Long Island, New York. Today we'll be talking about Toyota Lexus Multiplex Diagnostics. Toyota Lexus Multiplex Diagnostics are relatively straightforward if you have a good game plan and access to the right information. In order to simplify diagnostics, a technician needs to know that Toyota's service information system contains three different diagrams of network systems. A repair manual overall bus diagram, repair manual individual bus diagrams, and the network diagram in the electronic wiring diagram that Toyota refers to as the EWD. With factory diagrams, the technician is at an advantage over the tech that's using an aftermarket resource. For example, in some instances, problems may occur within the communication across several buses. Utilizing the overall network diagram in the repair manual on TIS will allow you to quickly identify network gateway modules as well as the location of terminating resistors, providing an overall game plan for diagnostics. The CAN bus utilizes two 120 ohm terminating resistors in parallel for a total circuit resistance of approximately 60 ohms. There are two ways a technician can determine the integrity of these resistors. The first test checks the resistance on the CAN bus. With the key off, access the CAN bus using a breakout box for the DLC at pins 6 and 14. With the desired resistance of approximately 60 ohms, we know we are dealing with a good overall circuit resistance. If the resistance is around 120 ohms, the suspected cause is an open on the bus. If the resistance is much lower than 60 ohms, we are typically looking at a low resistance fault which would be a short of some sort on the bus. For an extensive list of CAN resistance tests performed at the DLC, refer to the quick training guide for CAN resistance tests found in TIS. The second way of testing the bus and the more favorable approach is to utilize a lab scope together with a DLC breakout box to graph the live signals on the CAN bus. The CAN bus is a two-wire differential voltage drive network system. A technician can expect to see an initial voltage of 2.5 volts. When the network is transmitting data, one voltage signal will increase in voltage to 3.5 volts and the other will decrease in voltage to 1.5 volts, providing the technician with a near mirror image of the same pattern as seen here. Any significant variation in this overall pattern, such as the one seen here, when we short the bus to ground, would indicate a circuit integrity problem. A complete set of waveforms for various network faults can be found on TIS in the quick training guide entitled Multiplex Diagnosis. Modules that communicate on sub-buses are generally not accessible at the DLC. In this case, the technician will need to create a point of access on the particular sub-bus that the module communicates on in order to view the signals on the scope. For example, our 2017 Camry utilized several CAN networks with only one that is accessible via the DLC. When utilizing a scan tool for diagnostics, the factory tool plays an important role. The Toyota TechStream software will indicate all of the modules that could possibly appear on a given vehicle. When performing a health check, all modules are pinged and their status is reported accordingly. In some instances, a low trim level vehicle may report a module is not communicating simply because a particular ECU is not present on the vehicle. This is why it is important to avoid chasing your tail on U-code diagnostics. One example of this would be an automatic liftgate option that is not actually installed. This scenario could result in a U-code for the rear liftgate that won't clear. The TechStream software also has a great feature called CAN Bus Check that allows the technician to view communication status of individual modules in real time. The list of modules is color-coded for quick indication of module communication status. When diagnosing Toyota Lexus network issues, good information and sound testing techniques will help you get to a fix quickly. Thanks for joining me, Dave Mockholtz, at Suffolk County Community College on Long Island, New York, for this diagnostic overview of Toyota Lexus Multiplex Diagnostics. Mm -hmm.